Buenos dias. Hola. ¿Cómo le va? Everything good? Todo marchando bien? Gracias, Señor. And uh, I love Spanish. I love the Spanish culture. Um, I just wish I could speak it better, but you know that's my constant lament. By the way, I'm taping this way ahead of the date that you're watching it. If you want to see something, go back in case you missed it and look up. I guess they can archive it. It's archived, isn't it, Stephen, that they can watch January 21st, Sunday services, Brooklyn Tabernacle. The 9 or the 12, we had a guest musician from our BT Kids program, 10-year-old Giovanni and his sister, 7-year-old Elizabeth, singing a song that he wrote, amazing. But before I spoke, I brought out a guest speaker, Noah Gassant. And I'm not going to say anything. He's eight years old. It was his birthday. He's small stature. Watch him walk out when I introduce him. And he walks up to a little pulpit we prepared. And listen to his sermon from 1 John. Just listen to it. It's not only sweet, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Just introducing him, the, the place went nuts. Because just the way, and he was serious, and he loves the Lord. And, oh my goodness. And he started by saying, good morning, church. <laughs> A little preacher boy. Check it out. January 21st, if you haven't seen it. you It's remarkable. Uh, we're reading in Hebrews, the ninth chapter. And now they're talking about the better priesthood of Jesus, the writer is, and the fact that the tabernacle system, the Old Testament system, is done with. You and I might say, I never lived under it. This was written, obviously, to Jewish believers for the most part. But there's lessons in it for us. Don't go back to Moses and the law. We have Jesus and the new covenant. So we're picking it up in verse 8. The Holy Spirit was showing by this, the priest going in to the Holy of Holies once a year with blood sprinkled on the, the, uh, the mercy seat uh, on top of the Ark of the Covenant. The Holy Spirit was showing by this that the way into the most holy place had not yet been disclosed as long as the first tabernacle was still functioning. This is an illustration for the present time, indicating that the gifts and sacrifices being offered were not able to clear the conscience of the worshiper. Two things in these verses. The way into the immediate presence of God the old system was showing it isn't open for all the people. The high priest could only go in once a year on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, and he had to go in sprinkling blood for the people and himself because he was a soiled human being, but not our high priest, not Jesus Christ. He's representing us in the real holy of holies, the absolute immediate presence of Almighty God. And through him, we have access to that. Remember, therefore, come, therefore let us come boldly to the throne of grace. Why? Because we're worthy? No, because Jesus is our sacrifice and our high priest, he has given entrance. You and I can talk to Almighty Holy God today. Right now, you can have a, an audience with the king. I was talking today to someone on the phone from Eswatini. It's a tiny country in Africa. One of the few that has a king, as in the king reigns. 
Others have, you know, like England, a, a figure of a king, but he doesn't control everything like a king king. And they were telling me because they're involved in helping do health work and spreading the gospel in Eswatini. They were telling me they just met with the Royal Highness. Um, you can't come to him unless he invites you. You just don't go downtown to the palace and go, yo, I want to talk to the king. No. To get an audience with the king, he has to ask you to come. This is going on today, not in the 1400s. Right now, Eswatini. So we got to pray that God will grant them favor with the king for certain things that the people, let's just summarize it carefully, that the people of the country can be better served. Only 1.2 million in the whole country of Eswatini. There's more than that. There's uh, more in Brooklyn than in that whole country. You can only come if the king invites you. If he doesn't invite you, So, how about this? We have a king who has a constant invitation. God is constantly beckoning us to come into his presence. But I'm not worthy. I know, but Jesus is, and he made the way. But I've had a bad week. Jesus had a good week. He has a good every day, good eternity, good perfect sacrifice. He's made the way. Satan is always going to try to get you and I, trust me on this, to always think, am I worthy to really talk to God in prayer? Absolutely. He's the one asking us, like a father. Like Jesus said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. I'll give you rest. He's the one inviting us to bring your problems to him today, to bring your dilemmas, the pressures of life, what, what's broken your heart. He can heal it. Come on. It's no more Old Testament high priest once a year. Forget that. It's gone. Jesus is our high priest. He's made a way for you and I to come. Let's spend time today in the Holy of Holies because of Jesus. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.